Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Dree. Welcome back to another YouTube video. All right, you guys. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video just because I feel like I need to update you guys on a couple of things because there's been a lot going on in my life. And I'm just here to like update you guys with your questions because everybody's been asking me a lot of questions and I haven't addressed anything. In today's video, I'm gonna be addressing everything that you guys are asking me. So I told you guys on Instagram to ask me a few questions that you guys wanted me to answer in today's video. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Before we get started with today's video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe below for more because I will be posting a lot more on my channel. I think after this video, I'm going to be posting a video of me piercing my nose because I decided I would get a nose stud piercing on my nose. I actually had one before, but I let it close up. I don't know why out of nowhere. I think it's because we're in quarantine. I'm just bored and I really want a nose stud again. So I'm probably going to pierce my nose today. If I pierce my nose, I will upload a video on YouTube because I'm going to do it myself. The first time I got my nose piercing, I pierced it myself. And this time I'm going to record it because the first time I didn't record it. I don't know why I should have, but I didn't. I think I'm gonna do it. All right, so the first question is, how is it being on your own? So if you guys have been watching me, you guys know that I live on my own now. Well, not completely on my own, but I just don't live with my parents anymore. Um, right now, I'm actually living with my cousin and my aunt. I actually have a room to myself that I'm renting. So I don't feel completely alone. Like, I feel like if I would have gotten an apartment or something like that, I would have felt alone. Or like, if I would have like rented a room, like, just somewhere random i would have felt like lonely and scared because like i've never actually been like on my own just by myself without anybody that i don't know so i'm glad to be here with my aunt and my cousin because they keep me company i don't feel too lonely i feel pretty good you know it's not that bad like once in a while yeah i do miss my mom and my dad here and there i try to facetime my mom like every other day whenever i miss her i just get on the phone with her i just cannot wait for this whole quarantine to be over so i can just go out and do what i want because i feel like there's so much things that i want to do like over here in cali it is so hot it's been like 90s almost 100 over here because i live in the valley and the valley it's so hot over here and i've been wanting to go to the beach and everything and i just want to do all these fun like summer activities so i'm hoping all this is over by the time summer comes around next question is are you living by yourself so like i said no i'm not living by myself i have my cousin here and my aunt with me so i'm very thankful for that next question is why don't you live with your parents Okay, so the reason why I don't live with my parents is because I used to live with them, right? Like, we were all living over here in Cali. And my parents just got tired of living over here in LA, so they moved to Mexico. I know, it's crazy. Everybody thinks, like, what the fuck? Like, your parents really moved? Yeah, they freaking moved. So, I didn't want to move to Mexico, so I stayed in Cali. I feel like there's not much opportunities for me out there where they're, they're living. I really do love it, though. Don't get me wrong. I love it. They're actually staying in Mazatlan, Sinaloa. That's where my mom's from, and all my family from my mom's side is out there. And it's really nice. I really love it out there, but I don't see myself living out there as of right now. Like, maybe in the future, but even then, I don't know. Next question is, why haven't you been posting? Okay, everybody was asking me why I haven't been posting, why I haven't been active on my YouTube. And I just want to say I'm very, very sorry. I just needed to take a little break. I think I took a break off for like a week or two around there. I just needed a break because I was just like tired of everything. I was just going through a lot of shit, you know, just stressing out with a lot of things that are going on. This whole quarantine is just making everything worse for me too because I can't even go outside. I mean, I can go outside if I want to, but like I prefer not to like be in big crowds or anything. So I stay inside. I just feel like whenever I get stressed out, I like hanging out with my friends or like going somewhere like to the beach or go out to eat. And it sucks because that for me, that's my stress reliever. Like I like to go out to eat, go to the mall, go shopping. You know, I like to do all that stuff. And right now I can't even do any of that stuff because of this whole quarantine pandemic thing going on. And it really sucks because that's like my, that's my little getaway, you know, and that's basically taken from me right now. So Whenever I get stressed, I'm just here. And I feel like it's not good because I just like, I just think too much, you know? Sometimes I like to get away, but hopefully everything goes back to normal. Yeah, but I'm back and I'm better. So that's a good thing. And I will be posting more videos very soon. Next question is, what do you do to maintain your body in shape? All right, so before I used to do nothing. Like I used to literally not do anything. I had no diet, no workout, no nothing. I just been really focusing on myself like with my body and my mental health. Like right now, I'm kind of on a diet, I would say. I just cut off a lot of things. I also work out every other day. 
I used to not work out at all, but I just recently found out that I love working out. Like, it's so weird. Like, I hated working out before, and now I just love it. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, I work out every other day, and I feel so great after the workout, you know? I feel like my body feels good, and also I feel good. But yeah, I just basically, I try eating healthy. Um, I eat vegetables every single day, and I eat salad every single day. So I try eating healthy and then working out. That's basically all I do, and all I drink is water and tea or coffee sometimes but other than that i do not drink soda i do not drink any juice here like we don't even have juice or soda here because me and my cousin are just like on the same diet so it like works out you know maybe i'll do a video on like my whole like diet and everything just so you guys can see if you guys are interested but yeah i'm gonna do a video of like my diet and everything what i eat in a day and also like a workout video i might be doing that soon all right so this next question everybody has been asking me about this and i'm just gonna answer because i just feel like i need to let you guys know and i'm just gonna address it to you guys real quickly all right so the question is are you and anthony together everybody's been asking me this recently and the answer is no we are not together we were never together we were never officially dating or anything we were talking you know we did do youtube and stuff like that for a little bit but we are not together we were never officially together but it just didn't work out you know so you know sometimes things don't work out i don't know i just feel like we had different views on things we're still friends we're still cool we are on good terms thank god because i do not like ending on bad terms with people yeah so i'm doing my thing he's doing his and that's it next question is what is your dream car so my dream car is well for the future, I want to get a Range Rover or like a G-Wagon. I feel like that's what I want when I'm older or low-key like a BMW. I don't know. I have a lot of cars that I actually want when I grow up. I just don't know exactly which one. Like I feel like Teslas are cool too, but I just don't like that you have to charge it everywhere. But I am planning on getting a car soon. I'm working on like my whole DMV stuff. For when this whole quarantine's over, I'm going to go like try to get my license. The written test because I've been studying for it and i really want to get that done because i see all my friends have cars and i'm like wow i'm like the only one that doesn't drive like how lame is that you know i'm trying to go places and just drive and nobody can tell me shit you know so right now i'm saving up for a car hopefully i get a car soon if i do i'll keep you guys updated don't skip my ads watch my ads next question is do you have beef with anyone or does anyone have beef with you so i don't really have beef with anyone i'm not the type of person who likes to start shit like i just don't like drama i like to stay away from drama if i see that any drama is around i will literally like I'll be like, okay, I'm going to distance off real quick. I'm going to back off because I just, I'm not a drama type of person. I don't like starting arguments or anything like that. I'm just really chill. I'm to myself. So that I know of, that I have drama with anybody, no. Does anybody have beef with me? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe just people who don't like me, but that's not relevant to me. So I don't consider myself having beef with anybody. Next question is, what is your sign? So my zodiac sign is I'm a Leo, and then my rising is a Gemini. So you know, a Leo is a fire sign. I just feel like I'm such a Leo, like everything that describes a Leo, like I am, literally. But we're so fun. And what I have realized is that all my friends, like they're compatible to like my sign. Like for example, Riley's a Gemini. We literally are best friends, we get along. Um, abby is a sagittarius um you know that's cool we get along um i have another friend her name is natalie oh my god she's a sagittarius as well we get along i just love sagittarius gemini and aquarius like if you're that we will get along literally my mom is an aquarius as well she's like my best friend and we get along so well next question is what do you use to keep your skin clear all right so i do have like a whole routine that i do with my skin that i have been doing and i've been doing this for about like two months already and i am actually gonna film a whole video on my skincare routine i don't know if you guys knew but a while back like it was like three four months ago my skin was horrible like i started breaking out again and if you guys have been with me for a long time you guys know that i've had acne pro skin like i made a video like i think it was like two years ago maybe a year ago and it was like um how i got rid of my acne video and everything was good 
my skin was doing me wonderful like it was great and then all of a sudden four months ago recently i started breaking out like so bad like it was just horrible i started getting all these pimples along like the sides of my cheek my forehead and i hate acne you know because i feel like it just brings down my self-esteem so much and i feel so ugly so i really want to help you guys out and i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i use in that video so that will be a whole separate video that i will be doing on how to get rid of my acne part two because this time i got rid of it with other products and i just want to share with you guys whoever's struggling with the same thing as well so i will be doing a video about that very soon on my channel next question is what do you do on your free time you guys probably didn't expect that from me but i play games yo like i play video games all the freaking time and it's so bad like i just recently became a gamer i've always loved playing games but i used to always play on like pc like i used to play minecraft and like the sims if you guys know the sims oh my gosh i love that game but recently i've been really obsessed with the ps4 like i don't know what's wrong with me i've been obsessed with call of duty on friday the 13th those two games oh my gosh i love those games i play them every single night i literally get on like at eight or nine and then i go all night playing till four in the morning like who am I? Like, literally, I'm a boy. I'm literally a boy now. And I play with all my friends. Like, out of all my friends, I'm, like, the only girl. And it's so cool. But at the same time, sometimes I'd be mad because I suck at times. But I've been getting better, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm just really obsessed with playing games recently. Especially during this whole quarantine crap going on. Recently, on my free time, I've been playing video games. I like to work out on my free time. I like to get ready and I like to take pictures. Someone asked me, can you film a girl talk video soon? Okay, so I am going to be filming a girl talk video soon. A lot of girls have been asking me to film a girl talk video and I will be doing that very soon on my channel. I think I'm going to post like something on my Instagram where you guys can ask me like girl talk questions and then from there I'll just make a video and answer you guys' questions. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go follow me if you haven't yet so you guys can ask me questions for when I film that video. Next question is how do your parents feel about you being in LA? So when I came back to LA, this whole coronavirus had just started like getting really bad. So my parents were really, really scared. Like they were really stressed out by me being over here because they're like, oh my God, like what if you catch it, this and that. But at first when I came out here, I did not go out like at all. Like I would not go out. I would just rather stay home. Like whenever we went to the grocery store, it would be my aunt going to the grocery store instead. And then just me and my cousin stay here because my aunt didn't want us to be exposed to the public either just because she didn't want to risk anything. So after First, my parents were really concerned but now the situation is getting a lot better especially with the heat going on it's kind of killing the virus in a way which is really really good that's the only reason why i'm really happy about this whole heat because it's killing the virus and there's a lot less cases over here my parents aren't stressing as much as they were before just because they know things are getting a little bit better as of right now i feel like they feel okay with me being out here especially because they know that i'm safe here with my aunt and my cousin next question is would you ever do a meet and greet all right so i have gotten asked this question so many times and i've always wanted to do a meet and greet i just never like actually i just never actually got to it like three years ago i used to be a part of this like management group thing where it's like a bunch of other influencers are involved as well and we used to do meet and greets and then people would come up to us and just like meet us and stuff like that that was really cool but that was done a little bit more like professionally i feel like if i ever did my own meet and greet like just me i would want it done but professionally i don't want to just be like okay meet and greet at the mall at like 4 p.m everybody come over here because i feel like i want it to be safe i don't want anybody to be like at risk of anything not saying that anything would happen but you know just to be safe i would want to do it professionally so as of right now, I don't think I will do one, especially with this whole coronavirus pandemic going on. Maybe in the future, though. Next question is, would you ever get tattoos or piercings? So today I'm actually going to be piercing my nose. I'm going to get a nose stud right here. I'm actually going to do it on my own. I'm going to film the video today for that. And then I actually have been thinking about getting like more piercings like right here on my ear. I actually want to do that because I feel like they look so cute and then my belly button i actually was thinking about getting a belly button piercing i feel like it looks so cute my cousin has one and she told me it did not hurt so i'm kind of like hmm i kind of want to do it so i might get a belly button piercing for tattoos i definitely want tattoos i was supposed to get one when i was in mexico like three months ago but i didn't get one just because the whole coronavirus had just started and everything and the situation was just bad so i didn't end up getting one but I am going to be going back to Mexico in August during my birthday. So hopefully for my birthday, I get tatted or something. I don't really know what I want yet. I kind of do. I think I want something right here though. Or maybe like on my under boob. 
somewhere or just something that's not too shown something that's a little bit hidden so for my first tattoo i'm gonna start off small i'm not gonna go big or nothing crazy like that yeah but i definitely do want a tattoo very soon hopefully once this whole thing is over and the last question is when are you gonna see your parents again i didn't talk about this either and this is another reason why i took a break off youtube so recently my grandpa passed away my grandpa actually lives over here in la with my grandma and he passed away and it's really sad i don't even want to talk about this right now but i'm just gonna bring it up because it has to do with this situation so basically my grandpa passed away and you know that's my dad's dad so my dad is actually coming out here with my brother soon i think i think maybe like june july he's coming out here so i might be seeing my dad and my brother in july and then my mom's not coming out here though because she has to take care of my grandma over there in mexico so when i'm gonna see my mom is i'm gonna see her in august when i go back for my birthday and the rest of my family but i think i'm gonna see my dad and my brother during june july around there so that is another reason why i took time off of my youtube just because like what happened with my grandpa but anyways that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed today's q a video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos because i will be posting a lot more videos very soon on my channel i hope that i answered your guys's questions but yeah that is it for today's video i hope that everybody stays safe and i'm out now